Howdy folks, welcome back to the Freddie James Road, not the road to the show, Road to Glory here on College Football 25. I swear I'm not wearing the same shirt every day. Uh, I know this is episode 8, but I've recorded 8 episodes in one day, so it's come out in 8 consecutive days. We upset Auburn last year as one of our premier wins, and uh, we are ranked this year as the number 20 team. Auburn is number 17. This is such a huge game, specifically for SEC championship implications. So let's go ahead and get into this. We've seen good production from Freddie so far this year, and uh, I'm hoping to continue that today. We got a really big win against Missouri in the last one. At home, we can do it again. Tennessee, Music City, USA, and home to the Commodores of Vanderbilt who hope today they will hit all of the right notes. We've got a top 25 matchup on hand. Two here we go. We start with the ball here. Dylan Carter in this Vandy offense. Six and two so far this year. Looking downfield, it's Carter. Over the middle, and he dropped it. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the misfire now, Auburn sitting at five and three. When you reach this point in the season, these types of games, top twenty-five matchups. I couldn't get out. Whether you're going to be a contender. Yeah, and really show. So no real action for Freddie here on the first drive, unless we can complete this third and ten play action. Oh no! That I knew as soon as he let go of that, wherever he was throwing that ball, was a bad throw. And it's a three and out for Vandy to start us off. Seven nothing. Quickly. Well, first and ten, first touch for Freddie today. He's gonna cut it back to the other side, and we're gonna get seven. Beautiful. Or twelve. Probably not the right thing to do there, but. We will get the first. Got a nose tackle. This is only a good look. Freddie to the outside and pushes a man through. Nine yard carry. So three in a row for Freddie. For a combined 19 yards. We go score and we're out for a while now. They go get three right back. We only get six here. Carter hits the swing pass. So we're back out of the game. Freddie gets his time, that's for sure. But we definitely still split carries. Pick up four. And the first is over. Auburn leads by three, 10-7. Check out the stats so far. 29 rushing yards. We're definitely the main rushing attack here. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. Well, we are the deke here, and Carter isn't going to get anything. We don't get the first. And a bad, a really bad set of downs there. We're going to punt this one. Let's go slow. Touchback. Here's Auburn. They give it right back to us. We are just the decoy here on the play action. Off the play fake on first down. And he holds on for two. We pick up, and a great throw and a better catch by Cedric Alexander. Lots of play action today, and I like this one. These deep curls tend to work. He's got to get rid of it, though. Carter holds on to the ball. 
last thing you want is an I'm dropping a block in here. A sack on first down. We will just get some back here. So third and twelve. I think here, if we cut it out, that'd be better. Go, Freddy. Oh, couldn't hold on. We didn't lose yards after the catch. That's a glitch in this game. They're sitting back on their own set of downs, and we're going to get it back at the nine. Feed Freddy some. Let's try to get some ground game moving. Looking for room. It's James. Might have a hold here. Got the first down and still on his feet. He goes out of yeah, we definitely have a hold. So it's first and 14. And Cedric runs it for 20. We come back in to block here. Carter in the pocket. Good presence. And he's just going to toss it over the end zone. Good choice. Good pocket presence. I really like that. Why do we keep getting pulled? I don't know. Third and ten. To throw. It's Carter. Over the middle. Touchdown. Touchdown Cheryl coming down with it. Bandy takes the lead. They put seven right back on the board, man. The four and a half, too. That kills. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Find a man for nine. You know, he might be open. I was going to draw back and blocking, but. We catch it, but not going to do much for us. I guess we'll call a timeout here. Take the shot. Wants to throw on second down. And that's towards the yeah, bounce marker. It'll be knocked down. Auburn leads 17-14 at half. They also get ball, so. We'll see what happens. I think we need to lean a little more on the run. We've only gotten four rush attempts today. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems Dylan Carter, that's a strike. And I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And all right, let's do it. They get ball to start. We're going to get it right back. Good job, defense. And, oh, what a throw. Cheryl. Oh, this is the wrong call. We don't have a running back in. Go, Spence. All right, we'll take two. Let's run that RPO wide, read swing. Before you run that wide receiver mid screen. He goes to the outside. We get five. Junior Cheryl has had a good day today. Alex Sanders in the game only gets one. We kick it, and we're tied. But Auburn sends it right back down and scores a touchdown. So, 24-17. James. James runs through a hole. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. 
Got three on first down at second and seven. There you go. Reads it, fires complete. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down. Let's hurry up into an inside zone here. I can get this, I think. As long as we don't get eaten up. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Yeah, James does get there. Quickly to the tight end. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy third and five. Need this. No. Punt it back. Auburn is starting to pull away. Shoot, man. I really wanted to win this game. Got the quick completion. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in he's reading the coverage and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football that's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. you guys say him bounds man and he is run out of bounds as they go backwards there and just avoided the cut need the first no oh, and it's just not going well is it all right we're still in it we're going to have to have a good drive here. They're gonna run it. Safety. <laughs> I mean, he just shed the block easily. What can you do? It wasn't even me who got the chance there. They go to the ground. Good run for Freddie. Doesn't have many of them today. I haven't been in agreement with the play calling. We've got seven carries for 45 yards. Oh, I hate this mid draw. Now they'll run the draw. Get three. We are out again. Pun again. This one is 36 17, not looking good. He's looking to throw it. Makes the catch. It's Livingston. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes. Oh, man. There. Using the quick game. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Back to throw. It's Carter. Quickly complete. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Yeah, and he runs a quick out route. This is Man, that'll do it. Well, that was a pretty rough Auburn there by this. and just find a way to get company come into Vanderbilt, come into Nashville and take down Vanderbilt along with Freddie. Holding Garner. It was a good day, 290 yards, two touchdowns. Freddie just didn't get the touches he deserved today. And he was effective when he did get them, so that one hurts. A lot of times, most teams refocus and they get a sense of urgency now that they got a loss on that column. So watch the tape, watch what you need to improve. We'll see. Go attack it in practice. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis. Stats wise, yeah, we were efficient when we got to play. Actually, Carter played a really good game. Hmm. Alexander's still getting more carries than us. That's no fun. We run 8 for 48. Receiving-wise, we caught a ball. We caught two balls for seven yards. So, I mean, things could be better. That's for sure. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to study for exams at one point. I need to get to the basic level at least. It'll be Kentucky today. They're not great this year. And what happened in the top 25? Iowa State won. Oh, that's just the Big 12. Here's college football top 25. We drop out. Um, and we are now with three losses, which honestly is better than Florida is, but... Looks like a lot of SEC up in that top 10 with Georgia, Bama, Texas A&M, and, and I guess Texas now. So, All right, weekly agenda. Exams in three weeks. We really need to do this. Yep, I know. And then that one gets us this first skill point. Got to get up to the basic level. Um, all right, let's get into the Kentucky game. Game 10 of year two. It's crazy how fast we've moved and how fast we're going to move. We're going to fly, I feel like, through this whole road to glory. I've been thinking about starting a second one. Or a dynasty. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. The four and five Kentucky Wildcats. Hand off to Freddie. He finds the hole. Nine yards. And we get to go sit for the rest of the drive. What in the world, dude? We're down seven nothing. They're gonna open this drive with a pass. Quickly to the tight end. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A it's zone, but B Dang, what, kind of what can you do? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone eight there. They bring him down, but and we get pulled. To pick up a first down. So annoying, man. Dude, Carter, shut up. Quick completion to the right. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Third and seven, we get pulled again. We do get three. I'm getting frustrated, man. I just don't... I don't know. I'm the starter, but I don't get any time. Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Also, they made it to be absolutely no point of being a three-star. I thought I'd get a higher dev trade or something. No. We just struggle. <laughs> oh, it's just into the teeth of the defense. Golly, man, the lineman just didn't get there in time. After the three yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll run play action. Good block. Throw it there. Not there. He held on. Goodness gracious, what a play. And there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39 yard line. They have just three measly points on the board, but trying to cobble a little something together here. And Freddie through the hole. Good run. And we're off the field. <laughs> we score, so it's 10 to 7. We come back in in the second half. To the ground with the back. Not a lot. Get two. 
That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Oh, we got lit up. He's got it. Michael Bell makes a man miss. All the way down to the Kentucky 48. Seventeen to ten now as we sit about a whole drive again. Movement here from the tight end. Running back searching for a hole. We get the first down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They'll snap it from the thirty six. They've got a first down. Dropping back, it's Carter. It's the out for six. Oh, a stick concept. I guess it's just looking short here. And we do go short. We're close. We could that got blown up quickly. We're upon it. And Kentucky is gonna give it back, thank the Lord. 946 left. Had to run there. Into the hurry up. I love the fake screen wheel. Bite Kentucky. They didn't bite. The screen's there. <laughs> and James. Up to the 45. That angle route. James to the outside has a 10 yard run we'll take it and we score a touchdown and we get it back let's go so we gotta run this thing out alright looking for a gap it's James Freddie, what a run. Oh, I didn't need to go out of bounds. Bad awareness there. And we win it. We win the Vanderbilt-Kentucky rivalry. 24-17. Freddie on limited carries with a good day. Let's go, man. Dylan Carter, a great day. He's had a really good year, man. 307 yards, three touchdowns. 365 days. You can talk about how you went out, you dominated, and you beat your rival. A lot of these guys are going to go on to the So we get our seventh win of the year. Of course, we're bowl bound already, but this one feels good as we beat the Cats. We might be ranked again, just like 25. Another presentation of EA Sports College Football. We'll see. Rushing-wise, we led the team in yards with 57. Cedric had 11 attempts as well. We are better than Cedric. When are they going to get that through their heads? And receiving-wise, Micah Bell, such a good day. Junior Sherrill had a good day. Livingston played well. We've got some young guys here. Tristan Brown. Freddie only caught one ball, but it was a nice one for 16. And the Vanderbilt Commodores are going to win today. So... Let's go to the next next week. Exams in a couple weeks, too, so. Not going to play a third game. I think right now we're on a good pace with two, two per episode, you know? Vanderbilt versus Texas next, and we are back in the rankings. A win here is what could put us into... The next level for uh, 
the playoff. That's really what it is. I gotta study. One more there. Let's go ahead and put it into this. All right, we might have that next point in the next one. And I do want to go ahead and upgrade after our next game because we can get up to, elusiveness is gonna be five, but I think this needs to go up, this needs to go up. I'd love to get these up, but it's just not gonna happen, man. The acceleration's high enough. Speed's one thing, acceleration's far more important, and with the 93 Excel, I'm okay with that. Um, like, that's better than you think it is. We just might not have breakaway speed. Anyways, the power stuff, I would love to do that. It's just not our forte. Um, so I'm going to put the first one into hands, and then we're going to put another one into IQ, and we're going to try to get up to around an 80 before the end of the season. But if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. That's Freddie James, episode 8 in the books.